There's this type of natural mind control that we experience every day from all over the place, and we can do it to other people, and we're definitely having it done to ourselves. You see, it's based off of the fact that human beings are tribal creatures. There are these things known as in-groups and out-groups, where if you are in an in-group, that means you're going to survive. Back when we were all cave people, it was like, oh no, if I'm not part of the in-group, that means that I'm not having protection, I'm not being helped hunt, I'm not being cared for when sick, I'm less likely to find a mate. All these things that were really important to survival. So we did everything we could to be in the community, to be in the in-group. Now, if we ever did anything wrong, we were ostracized from the group. Well, that's the out-group. That means that you don't have the protection, you don't have the food, you don't have help with hunting, you don't have help with finding a mate. It becomes an issue of survival. So as human beings, we evolved to have a herd mentality. This is this goal in order to be more homogenous, meaning that we try to work better with groups to be part of those communities and be more like the people in those communities. Now, this was demonstrated beautifully in an experiment called a room with a viewpoint. A hotel was looking to lower the amount of water it was using. So in each room it had a little door tag that said, hey, if you are interested in helping us lower the water amount, we will ask you to put your towel onto a rack and then we won't wash it. But if you want us to wash it, please leave it on the floor. Now, some of the tags also said, did you know that 75% of the people who stayed in this room also had their towels washed not as much. They would do at least once reusing their towel. So this tag goes up and it is found that there is a 33% increase in people who are reusing their towels in the rooms where it said 75% of us actually reused our towels. So what's going on here? Well, people are perceiving a community. They're being told that the people who stayed in this room, which is similar to who they were, are doing this towel thing. And because of that herd mentality, that goal to be more homogenous, they start doing the behaviors that they perceive the community doing. That is, reusing the towels. Now, that means that if you're able to convince someone that they're in a similar community as something, and even make up a number for what they would be doing in that community, those people will start doing that, because that 75% number wasn't a real number, that was just something that was said. Though interestingly, it kind of then makes it true, because if the people in the room are more likely to do that towel thing, well then, that means it gets closer to that 75%, because people are then increasing the likelihood they do it. It's almost a self-fulfilling prophecy. Now this is kind of like Zelda Breath of the Wild where you wear that Bokoblin mask. You see, when a Bokoblin is walking around the world, it doesn't attack its fellow Bokoblins. It sees those things with the pointy ears and the round head and goes, yeah, that's on my team. I'm not going to do anything to it. So when they see you as Link wearing that mask, they're going, that's fine. Nobody else is attacking in our group, so let's not do it because we want to have the homogeny. We want to be chill. But when a Moblin sees you wearing that mask, they're like, I have nothing against attacking a Bokoblin. That's probably a Link. And they immediately go and attack. So you can use this in order to control sort of other people. Good example of this is when you have like a little sibling and they're like, oh, I don't want to eat my vegetables. And you're like, look at all these adults eating their vegetables, including your cool big brother and his friends. And that kid's like, ooh, I want to be like that. And starts eating the vegetables. Or did you know that 75% of the people watching this video right now have subscribed and rung the bell? It's true. See you.